Mr. Stevie Wonder. You know, I've experienced in my life, recent times, so many great experiences. Tonight, having a chance to perform with, again, Mary Wells, Martha Reeves, The Four Tops, and having the pleasure of performing for the first time with Gregory Hines, Patti LaBelle, the New Jersey Mass Choir, Rod Stewart, Diana Ross, again, Sir Vaughn, Sammy Davis, I mean, Boy George, Dr. Michaels are just incredible, and um, I really want to thank all of the performers. Smokey. <laughs> I want to thank everybody for allowing me that great privilege. You know, when I first appear here, appeared here at the Apollo on stage at the age of 11, the future looked almost too fantastical. Things like, would little Stevie Wonder become a grown-up wonder? <laughs> would technology ever use its capability to bridge a gap for handicapped people? Would hunger, homelessness, racism, and senseless, senseless hatred always exist? Well, Motown is still paying me, so I guess that I can, can consider that a wonder. <laughs> All of the equipment that you see can be programmed by anyone, sighted or blind, to play by itself. That is a technological wonder. But if these things have become a reality, these fantastical things, why are people still hungry? Why are people still homeless? Why do we still hate? Why does there now exist a new word in our vocabulary, apartheid? Why do we as writers and artists have to still write and perform songs that let us know that love is still starving for itself? Maybe if we are as committed as those people who have given their lives for love and living our lives to love, songs like this song might become someday obsolete. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is George Mike. Here's your friendly announcer. I have serious news to pass on to everybody. What I'm about to say could mean the world's disaster. Could turn your joy and laughter into tears and pain. It's sad love is in me. I'll be up today. If love and peace you treasure 